Dale Little here in Chesnadea, Romania. See, uh, there's the uh, fortified church <clears throat> work going on. And this is uh, March 21st, 2020, in the middle of the uh, outbreak in, um, of the, um, whatever you want to call the virus. I just sometimes just say the new virus. Um, you know, it's changed hands. I said it's mutated more times than most virus, the name of it has than most viruses do. But I want to get serious a little bit. Um, it disturbs me what I see going on um, in America right now. Um, we need to understand, you need to understand. Uh, I remember just after 9-11, when the planes hit the World Trade Center, um, there was a uh, radio preacher that made the statement, and I think it was James McDonald. I, if I'm mistaken, then I apologize, but I'm pretty sure that was who I was listening to, to make the statement that um, God could not have pre prevented uh, the destruction of the buildings and what went on on 9-11. Well, I want to tell you that's totally false. Um, if that were true, then we really have no hope. Um, but I want to assure you that God has not lost control and that uh, you may say, well, what about the stock market? God has not lost control. Now you have maybe, uh, and that's the problem, that you're not in control. You can't control your own destiny. You can't control what goes on day by day uh, in this world. But God's not lost control. Did it start in a lab or a wet market? Was it intentional, a conspiracy? Uh, and if so, who is responsible? And what's about to happen? Uh, we understand right now that there's a lot of lockdown going on, quarantining. I've been quarantined myself for uh, uh, the last couple of weeks here in Romania because I'm pretty sure I had it, and the um, Lord's been good to me. Uh, but regardless of that, what's going on and what I see is that people are playing. You remember this board game from years ago called Clue? I mean, it's still around. Uh, people are so busy playing Clue, uh, a, a live version of it, <clears throat> we don't have time to look to God for, and stop and pray. Uh, who can figure it out first? Uh, who can solve the riddle? Uh, who can solve the mystery? Uh, if you solve it, what you going to do? I think we're busy looking in all the wrong places myself. Uh, I think it's a bit like a detective uh, who can't see the maybe the murder weapon laying at his feet because he's looking across the room. Sometimes we, you know, have the um, expression, you know, hiding in plain sight. What we need to do is search our own heart. There is a greater threat right now than deep state and China put together. And those are the biggest things people are worried about. I've been going through the um, book of Daniel lately. And uh, Daniel, chapter 4, verse 4, says, I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at ease in my house and prospering in my palace. I think I've just found where the, who's responsible for this whole thing, for everything that's going on. Do you dare to put your name in the place of Nebuchadnezzar's there? I, Dale Little, was at ease in my house and prospering in my palace. You don't have to have the same riches as Nebuchadnezzar had. <laughs> Nobody does. Um, you don't have to have all that money to be at ease in our house. And we can look everywhere else under the sun, but we can't bear to let God search our heart, our own heart. And it's just like David. In 2 Samuel chapter 12, when he was confronted by Nathan the prophet, we fly angry like David did when he said, As the Lord lives, the man who has done this deserves to die. And then Nathan said to David the prophet, Nathan, you are the man. 
you are the man or you're the woman. Yes, someone else may have been the catalyst and they may, should be held accountable and should, but it didn't start there. I think the problem, at least the answer, is letting God search her own heart. And uh, so the question is, what will you do now? What will you do with that? Let me close with this. Uh, last thing. This is, some of you are going to like this even less. Um, I've supported President Trump, and I will probably continue to, but not unconditionally. We know that he's uh, a lot of people turned off about his, uh, his braggadocious attitude, but uh, I've never seen a politician yet that didn't brag about what they accomplished. Um, and people seem to think he should be different. So that's never really bothered me that much. Um, as a businessman, uh, he was a hard driving businessman. And most people like that also are, they brag about what they've accomplished and uh, put a positive spin on everything. You know, they're salesmen. Uh, so there again, I've not been that bothered about it. But could it be? And Mr. President, if anybody else sees this, I which would be a surprise, <laughs> uh, but I'll say this. Uh, could it be that the president has taken himself a little too seriously? The Bible says that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. And it's time for the president, on down to you and I, that we need to get on our knees and pray and ask God to search our hearts. And uh, we need to come clean because we've been at ease when we shouldn't have been. Dale Little, Chestnut Hill, Romania.